with the men and women of law enforcement. All participants in tonight's show are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Viewer discretion is advised. TV 10 and WRNR are proud to bring you this episode of Law Enforcement Live recorded on the 10th of June, 2021. Thank you to Sheriff Nate Harmon and the Berkeley County Sheriff Department for allowing us to give you this look into a day in the life of a law enforcement officer. This episode features two traffic accidents, a motorist assist, trespassing, search for a suspect, and investigation into shoplifting. To our fans in Poland, we'd like to say dziękujęci. Yeah, I'm both just gonna go for that both ways until either y'all get to your car in this traffic somewhere. If you wanna head down to the hospital, I'll get it shut back down when I get here. Yeah. Bad choice today. 145-108. If you wanna clear up, I can take care of the rest of this if you'd like. Well, everything's done except for that vehicle and it's now occupant leaving the property. Just make sure that gets done. I appreciate it. Yeah, it's in cool. Well, hey, Berkeley. I'm kind of eating out right the region. Let's see now. Hot bill is early. Huh? Why, right, thank you, Berkeley. Fine. Or huh? He just doesn't have reverse or something? That's I, strange. Honestly, I have no idea. It looks to me like it's defective equipment. I don't know. Right? But the important thing is that if he was causing a problem, he's not there anymore. Mm -hmm. And we have. Right, three, two, seven, they were looking for more outside
Seven, go ahead. There's already a deputy working the investigation, um, and we're just making sure that there's no other um, collisions while we're working this, because that's a big part of uh, crash investigations. You have people that they see the lights, they're not paying attention when they get to the other crashes, or they make an improper maneuver like the U-turns in here. This is what we're here to stop is specifically the U-turns. So. And hopefully that can stop, stop some uh, crashes. That Jeep was involved also. Yeah, that's what I, that's what I was wondering. Yeah, you didn't break it all. Oh, shit, you did get it. Yeah, I did. He's the one who did it. Right in there. Now, this is going to be on the YouTube stuff. You know what I'm saying? This is going to be on the YouTube stuff. Oh, shit. Tomorrow afternoon. Tomorrow afternoon. I watch it every day. <laughs> I really do. It's funny. I'll leave often. Oh, yeah? <laughs> this is why crash investigations are each one is different. Each one is kind of unique. Um, because you have to figure out how, how it got there, right? So the Jeep was coming northbound uh, off Eclipse, which is the other road over there. It's coming through the intersection. This silver car over here um, probably wasn't paying attention or didn't have enough time to stop or was going too fast, something. Um, slammed into the driver's side of the Jeep. The Jeep then spun around, hit that third vehicle, and then came to rest right there. Um, important part of the investigation is you need to note that the traffic light was not working properly, which is why we have the DOH out here fixing it right now. Um, but another important part to mention is that it was raining. I don't think it had very much to do with this particular wreck. I think the uh, 
the traffic light has more to do with it than the rain. But um, in investigations like this, you have to know everything that is going on at the time um, because any small instance could be a contributing factor. So, makes sense. Mm -hmm. So that's why with investigations, crash investigations in West Virginia, we have a specific program and they're really particular about it. You have to know it everything. So it's interesting. This intersection right here is actually county and like it's almost surrounded on all four sides by the city. So it will reset jurisdiction. The light won't reset, so they're gonna have to, Charleston's gonna have to come up and do it. Send somebody to change them. So. Uh, you know how long that's gonna be? Tomorrow. I mean, they gotta come from Charleston. Okay, no problem. Yeah. All right. It. He asked me if he wanted portable stop signs, but I mean, pretty much Ooh. the caution in the red light takes care of my boss at TOH. I I think it should be sufficient for now. Yeah. But uh I'll see if we want anything else on there. Okay, just call in they'll yeah, come, yeah, come back and put stop signs up. Yeah, no problem. Alright. Alright, sounds good. Thank you. Are you secure? Yeah, I'm on the phone, I'm sorry. 10-4, Berkeley, 1-0, are you direct? I'm direct, 10-19, I'm out of the cab. 10-4, Berkeley, 1-26, are you direct as well? Yeah, I'm direct. 10-4, Berkeley, 1-22. Just for your information, just make sure it's on the cab. Copy one zero eight break. One forty five bird. We start with motors since this is going to be Apple Harvest Drive, um, the intersection of get on eighty one south now. What's going on, man? 
Yeah, you ran out of gas. You ran out of gas? Yeah. All right, you got gas in there? Oh, sure. Okay, cool. So we're just gonna sit back? I carry this woman. <laughs> got to. Get back. Get it out of the road. Yeah, that's not suspended. I got yours. I'm well, I think it's baby. Like I said, I just got my name ran a week ago, so I'm gonna say it. Uh, <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna Yeah, I got some back there Oh, sorry, what's the? Yeah, got their own name for this show. Yeah, Mark's PD. Mm -hmm. What? It's Law Enforcement Live, people. Where's your brand loyalty? Reports of her time right here. Yeah. 
Jerry Town Road in the area of Taco This one? Would it be? You would think. 73. Oh, wait. Yeah. 73? Yep.
so this is about that um, the shoplifting over at Sheets. Oh, okay. Um, so I'm just trying to make contact, see who was driving the, the vehicle, um, and get some possible suspects. Um, but I just made contact out here. So I'm gonna talk to a couple people and see what's, what's going on. Where are the car is, because I don't see the car out here. So. Good. Sample good. Um, you guys have a Honda Civic? Yes. Okay. Do you know My daughter driving? just bought the car. Okay. I'm a nurse at the VA. Okay. My daughter just bought the car to get put on the road. Mm -hmm. Um, and I got home last night. My husband, he was diagnosed with schizoaffective disorder. Okay. At 4 a.m., he was uh -huh. bit really bad by the gentleman's dog across the street. Okay. And he was supposed to go take himself to the hospital. But he had and I wasn't here because I was at the VA. Okay. And he was pretty badly bitten, so he took the took my daughter's car and I haven't I haven't known where he's been at all day. Okay. Um, Can you give me any information? So I don't know who's driving the car yet. So basically what I got was a shoplifting over a chief in Martinsburg. Um, somebody shoplifted some cigarettes. Oh, the license plate that they got came back to this house, so I'm trying to see who the owner is and see if I can get, you know, any, any kind of okay. who was in the car. Um, do you have, is she in the car, or in the house? Uh, the Elena? owner of the car? Yeah. No. No? Um, do you think you can get her name, and maybe her phone number, maybe her date of birth? I know. Talk to her on you the want me to give it to you now? Yeah, that's fine. Um, let me let me get a piece of paper. You okay. can write it down for me, okay? And then, uh, as soon as, if you guys want to wait in the house, that's fine. Um, I'll be right back. I'll I mean, do you want me just to give you her? I and mean, she is not um, involved in this. Yeah, no, I, I don't. It was a, it was a male, honestly. Yeah, my daughter's a college it. student. Um, oh God. You're good. Well, I mean, nobody's in trouble right now, so we're good. I'm just trying to figure out who's in the car who stole cigarettes. Um, allegedly, it wasn't the driver. It was just a passenger, so it could have been one of her friends or something like that. Um, I'm just trying to get some leads, basically. Okay. I just don't think you would do that. It had to be somebody who was left. Okay, no problem. Let me get that piece of paper and I'll just write it down for you. Okay. Anthony has no reason to steal cigarettes. I have 10000 in Who? my bank account. Like, Who? My husband. Oh, yeah, I got you. I... Do you think... Let's, uh... Do you mind if you just write this in the house? My kids are my daughter's in there. Oh, I'm not going to go in there. I don't want to go in there. If you just want to take this inside and write that... I can do it in my car. That's fine, too. Here you go. If you need another one, just let me know. There's still, there's still no guarantees that I'm actually going to get a suspect from this. But um, just going out to talk to who owns the vehicle is, you know, my best lead right now. So, sure. I'll see where this takes me. If it gets me a suspect, it does. And if it doesn't, it is what it is. Now, originally, I guess, um, I read the tag wrong and it came back to like a totally different car in like Jefferson County. So originally I was gonna have an officer go out there, but obviously it was the wrong car or uh, wrong license plate. So I think that one I said it was a six and it should have been a two or something like that. I don't know. I can't quite remember. But you said this dude that's here looks like the guy in the video. A little bit. He doesn't. He does a little bit, but I'm, I'm gonna have to take another look at that video and, and see. Um, even if he is the guy, I'm not gonna do anything with it today. What I'm gonna do is probably do warrants, um, because I'm not gonna write a citation for it now. There's no use. Um, so, whenever I get a suspect, if I get a suspect, I will do warrants 
and we'll take care of it that way. Oh, awesome. All right, All right cool. Um, I still got your ID. Yeah, Give me sure. one second, then I'll come up yep. and talk to you. So um, that way it gets taken care of in court. And uh, I think for this situation, it's probably the best scenario. But that's if I can get a suspect. So. Back in, I think. Okay, no problem. Well, um, she did want to know if you could give her a call. To town actually, anything. I was going to give her a card. Awesome. Um, so I'm Deputy Peck from Berkeley County Sheriff's Office. Yeah. Right? My unit number is 145. Um, there's my card. There's Thank all the you. information you need to Appreciate know. it. If she comes back or if the car comes back and you guys figure out who's in the car, right. you can give me a call or anything like that. Gotcha. Um, if I find anything out on her husband, he, yes, my brother. Uh, yeah, I, I didn't find even know you left or not. Uh -huh. um, if I find anything out, I'll try to give you guys a call if I can. Um, or if I can't get a hold of you guys, I'll just come back out of here. Gotcha. Yeah, appreciate it. Sound bro. good? Yes, sir. All right, man. Have a yes. good day. Much appreciated. Morning, you guys want some coffee? No, I'm no, good, thank you. It, I just can't get away from this <laughs> <laughs> Trying to get into the office to put up the new episode. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs>